This tutorial is sponsored by EnvironmentTextures.com, high quality images for 3D artists and game developers. Okay dudes, here we are back in Maya, let's get stuck in with texturing. So you can see at the moment, um, our low poly barrel still looks ridiculous. So let's get into the hypershade. And basically I've got a buttload of textures that I don't need, so I'm just going to delete them all. Oh, if it will let me. Ah, oh, if they're assigned, you can't delete them. That's new. Oh, maybe maybe you can. Okay, so my barrel should now be green because it's angry it's got no material. Good. Let's create a new material. So I want to create a uh, Stingray uh, PBS. So I've got a feeling if I type in Stingray, it's not there. Right, and this can happen. And if it does, you just need to go into Windows settings preferences and plugin manager and you're looking for shader fx plugin there it is make sure it's loaded and make sure it's on auto load then when you open your hyper shade you'll be able to see that you've got a stingray pbs that you can create so let's create a new stingray pbs okay here it is this is the the shading node now we need to make sure we can see this because we're going to need to keep clicking on it Okay, and we know what different maps we've created. So we know that we had a color map, a normal map, a metallic, and a roughness map. So we're going to use all four of those on this barrel. And then if you scroll down a bit further, you can choose your texture maps. So the color map, I'll click on that, and then I'll assign the file, which is going to be barrel diffuse. There it is. Click on open. And then you see I now can't find where to assign my other textures so what I need to do is click back on this Stingray PBS1 node over here and then I can go and add my normal map and then we'll find that one barrel normal open and then back on this purple node here I'm going to add my metallic map so where's that one uh, barrel metallic open and then click on this one more time to add the roughness map if I can find it, roughness, and click on open. Right, that's it, you've built the material. So then all you need to do is assign that material to your barrel. So I did that just by right clicking, uh, sorry, middle mouse clicking and dragging to put that on. Okay, so let's now zoom in on this and you should see so straight away, my, um, my metal band is looking a little bit too rough so I might go back in and just even that out in the in the material if I was going to spend more time on this um, but the uh, the actual barrel itself is looking pretty nice now a good way to get your normal detail to show through is to create a light so let's go to uh, create lights and we'll do a directional light I think I'll just move this out so we can see it and we'll press 7 so that we can see that happening. And what we'll do is we'll just rotate this around and you should be able to see, especially here, the graininess of the wood, which looks kind of nice. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? So all that extra detail is coming through because we've baked from the high detail and we've spent a lot of time in Photoshop making that look really cool. One final thing before we wrap this up that it's, it's worthwhile taking a look at is if we click back on this Stingray shader node and scroll up, you can actually turn these off and you can see what each map's doing. So you can see just with a normal map on how much detail is coming through from that normal map. So that's really nice. Uh, you can see if you want just what the metallic map's doing. So you can see it's telling which areas are going to be metallic. If you pair that with your roughness map, then you actually get a lot, a lot more detail. But again, you can see that these really hard edges are there. So if we bring in the normal map, they'll then make sense because they add some depth and if we add the color map it'll look like a barrel okay so that about wraps this tutorial up I hope you found it useful uh, I hope it will help you work on your high poly to low poly workflow uh, it's also a good way of working on a PBR texture map workflow as well for things like unity and Unreal, especially Unreal. I've used the Unreal texture maps for this one, the uh, metallic roughness uh, method. If you want to download this exact barrel that I'm using here, then if you choose to become 
a patron using Patreon, then you'll have access to my shared folders and you'll be able to download this barrel, the texture files that I made, uh, and you can have a play around with them yourself, as well as asking me um, any questions. If you got stuck on anything or get stuck on anything, put a comment below the video. I'll help you out if I can. I want to say a big thank you to my current patrons that are helping me to create these videos that are supporting me. Um, in case you're wondering, my patrons have paid for this, which is a uh, brand new microphone, and I've got a mic arm as well, so that it, this will really make it easier for me to just sit down and record you chores. You won't even believe what a fap it was before I got hold of this. I'd also like to thank the sponsor of this video, environmenttextures.com. Uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to have a sponsor. That just makes me feel like I'm special. Uh, and for letting me download the... Um, the textures to be able to create this this tutorial i really do recommend that you check out environmenttextures.com there's some really really good stuff on there there's some uh, models on there there's some scans 3d scans of real life uh, geometry as well which is really cool um, there is a link below the video for you to check that out so please do go and take a look uh, i think you'll you'll think it's a really good site i do you know i'm, I'm all into using it so you should check it out and so, um, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.